still trying to get stuff together and get everything ready for EJS. So if you guys watched the last video, then you saw that we had a pretty good time in Johnson Valley. Wheeling with Holly and Ian Johnson and Matt Myrick and all the rest of the Busted Knuckle guys. We had a really, really awesome time four-wheeling around and enjoying the day and night life of King of the Hammers. Unfortunately, Jeremy Rose had to head home. We still had a lot of four-wheeling to do. We had a lot of rigs to check out, a lot of places to wheel, and there's no better way to start out the night than with the KOH Holly EFI Live shootout, so you're definitely going to want to check this out. As I was driving back from the shootout, I happened to see a whole bunch of lifted Cherokees and Grand Cherokees. I couldn't help to stop by and check out and see what they are doing. It ended up being a group of firefighters that are also racers, and they were having a little bit of motor issues. <laughs> so we're here in the Cracker Fab machine shop, <laughs> rebuilding motor two? Two. Two. How many times have you pulled them in and out now? I think we're on number uh, we're on number five or six now. Number five or six. <laughs> this one this one's gonna be the winner though. You guys are gonna take this and take it out. This is the one. This is the one. Check this thing out. <laughs> How'd you guys do in the class eleven? Did pretty good. We uh managed to get a, uh, a fifth place finish, so pretty, uh, pretty stoked on that for our first first outing in it. And Robin's racing, right? Yeah. Robin's yeah. racing, yeah. still, got, uh, still got all our bumpers, all our fenders, so we're pretty, uh, pretty pumped. <laughs> Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, only the best, oh. only the best. Harbor Freight torque wrench. Harbor yeah. Freight. Working like I do now. Like, I'm pretty sure that's torque dish. The next morning I went walking around the pits and came across Donnie. Donnie has this really cool Comanche. He had been fighting transfer case issues but they were getting it fixed, getting it ready to race themselves. Then I ran into my buddy Harry Wagner and two Suzuki Samurai owners both with really interesting stories. So I'm here with my buddy Harry. <laughs> well, he smacks me, it's cool, we hold hands sometimes I guess. <laughs> and Amber, she's got a super cool samurai here, and she's gonna be racing it. She's gonna win. We know she's gonna win. Okay. Because we're all we're all Suzuki <laughs> dorks here. But if you don't know Harry, he's the guy behind the scenes taking all the awesome pictures for years with magazines and and what everything off road pretty much. I mean, all over the world. 
Yeah. Right. I'm pretty fortunate. Yeah. Yeah. He, he has a pretty cool YouTube channel called Harry Situations. You guys should check it out. And Amber here that I keep getting out of the camera. She's 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 a rad fabricator. So what's your what's your handle again on IG? The Burrs. The Burrs. That's right. The Burrs, yep. Harry Situations, the Burrs, check it out. <laughs> so the other samurai, well that's pretty much my favorite story of KOH. This is Anthony and Chad Hatzel. They actually were building this samurai while Anthony was going through cancer treatment and his goal was to get better and race KOH. And fortunately, they were able to come here and do it. So that's pretty awesome. Ready to play? Well, today we're here on Turkey Claw. Got me, got Chuck Converse. I think we even got a Jeepster back there. Jared from Four Park or from Four Wheelers here. So it's gonna be a pretty rad day. this is where my day got cut short. Unfortunately, I was fell off a rock at SOS and my power steering hose and my oiler line to my turbo broke at the same time. Uh, fortunately, I had friends there that helped me get lent back into Hammertown and we were able to get the parts ordered, but they wouldn't come in for the next day. So that didn't stop me from checking out some of the other cool rigs, walking around and then heading out to check out what was happening at back door.
<laughs> It'll shut real quick. Boom. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so got a new pump, got a new pulley, got my hose fixed, got everything tied in correctly. Had to get a new turbo hose because my turbo feed hose decided to break. So if you ever have a turbo feed hose, make sure you do not do it out of braided brake line because as I took it apart, it continued to snap into pieces. <laughs> Learned my lesson. Old pump, parts. We're ready to go play. We're gonna go hit a trail called Blueberry. There's a Sammy. We got a Forerunner, and we got a Sidekick on 47s. How cool is that? Now it's Lance's turn. You ready, Lance? I'm ready. <laughs> There you go, that look good. I think I made a wrong turn, but yeah. we're wheeling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are we?
can you see? <laughs> times four times at least <laughs> Ryan's out finding his uh, forerunner and I'm gonna have to reshoot this because we got a side-by-side -side in the way I will right, we'll try it again. <laughs> all right so we ran blueberry I don't know what trails we ran other than that and then we ended up on off your rocker going down it and then had to turn around and come up it but we got Lance and Rachel Thank you guys for coming along. Thanks for having us. They got a super rad, super rad sidekick. You know, one tons and 47s. I don't think there's any other ones like that. <laughs> Not many out there. <laughs> Not having Suzuki though. So, so we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.
I'm excited, man. This place was awesome. Great, super dusty. I spent, I don't know how much money washing the dust and dirt off, but uh, man, this is a heck of a sunset I got here too. It's, it's, you know, I have to turn the skew up so you can see it, see me better, but one heck of a sunset. It is beautiful out here. And I got a bat flying by me. Catch that. Look at that bat. See him right there? Whew. So, anyway guys, going to Arizona, do some wheeling. See you later.